Yes, and this question will replace the distributed loading by an equivalent resultant force and specify where the resultant line of action intersect member BC and I'm just gonna have from point C Okay, so <coughs> we want to replace this whole thing by a single force, and then we want to see exactly where the force is going to pass the point or the length BC. So <coughs> this is done in two steps. First step is to take the rectangular load and the triangular load, change it to a considered force. So <coughs> That's the triangle. So your force is F R1. That's going to be one half two hundred x on the length of three. So that's three hundred newton. And it should act a third from here. So if I call this as x1 bar, that's going to be two third of three or <coughs> meters. So your first force is really a force of magnitude 300 Newton acting at a distance of 2 meters from point A. Then the <coughs> same thing with the second one. Uh, <coughs> that's a rectangle. So F R2. The intensity is 100, it acts on a length of 6 meters, so the actual magnitude becomes 600 Newton. <coughs> then its location is the x2 bar. It's a 6 meter length, so it will be half of that, or 3 meters. So <coughs> you have another force at a distance of 3 meters with the magnitude as 600 Newton. So your two <coughs> distributed forces